Cleveland on the Rocks. We're at Eliza's Bourbon Bar. We are. And I'm Matt. Jim. That's Jim. We're about to get into a bottle of Jim. Jim Beam, that is. Jim Beam. Jim Beam double, double oaked. Man, I double lost oak. that no, word double, for a minute. Double, double oak. oak. Double oaked is Woodford. This is Jim Beam's version. Double That's oak. Right. See, I get mixed up. We have so many different yeah. bottles of different well, stuff. But it's the same this, idea, I think. They, yeah, because they, they, they twice it's barrel still it. a bourbon because yeah. it's been in one uh, new old white oak charred barrel for four years. Then they take it out that barrel, put it in another barrel. Same for, thing, white oak charred. Exactly. Mm -hmm. A brand new one just to give it this. And if you can see this on there, the color of this is like ridiculous. Like ridiculously yeah, dark a, a regular, compared like, to anything so else. I have you a see. small batch four roses here. And if, I don't know if Look you can see Look how clear that, that yeah. is compared to this. And the color wise, this is where you're going to pull the dark, dark. And hopefully this pulls like an insane, insane smoke from this because I'm really mm -hmm. hoping it does. But yeah, I'm, I'm due for a smoky one also. Right? So, twice barreled. I don't see a tab. Oh, it's right here. What? I got you. This is a spin off one. Yeah, it sure is a that's, spinner. That's why, because I was mm -hmm. like, man, they always have those weird tops. Yeah, Judge, I haven't had a bottle of gym with a cork. Knob Creek has a cork, but uh, Jim Beam does not. Jim Beam's yeah, always twist off. All of them? Pretty sure. It could be. I don't mm -hmm. know. Well, well, man, if there was ever one to have a cork, it'd be this one. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, the double oak one that's like super, super dark. You would think it would. All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't ready. I thought, are you ready for me to open it? Yeah. <laughs> but hell yeah. All right, I can't wait to see what this smells like. This better smell like a cigar that I'm smoking outside. Oh, it is very dark. It is, dude. Super. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Smoky? Smoky, smoky yes. yeah. I'm hoping this is. So it's got that toffee, too. That toffee, smoky, uh... Oh, wow. It does have... Okay, so there's a very... This is a very faint ethanol smell. Yeah, yeah. Is that wrong? Into, like, a, a coffee butterscotch type of note. This smells sweet. It better have some smoke in there. Oh yeah, here you go. So it says, Jim Beam Double Oaks, a whiskey to rival any other. It is first aged in a charred, charred American white oak barrel, mm -hmm. then we pour it into another freshly charred barrel. So it's not like a used barrel. They're putting it in another brand new this barrel. This is why there's a bourbon barrel shortage, because they're using two yeah. barrels for every bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so then the added interaction with the oak wood results in a liquid um, with intense flavor, smooth in taste. It smells very, dude, it's yeah. like very, very, uh, all the like liquid caramels and butterscotch type notes that are in and here. Here's the like, thing, like regular Jim Beam White Label is around like 20 bucks a bottle. Right. This one was 23 99 24 bucks. Spend the extra. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, well, let's taste it. But. I don't know, man. This smells like a Werther's. Like a mm -hmm. high gas oh. Werther's, but a smoky Werther's. Like smoking a cigar and chewing on a Werther's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Smells very good. good. And I hope it's, uh, it's I hope it's viscous. If you know what I mean, like the uh, extra aging, I hope make, gives it that thickness. You know what I mean? Like I hope it's like the syrupy, yeah, more exactly. syrup thickness, thickness wise, viscosity. Oh yeah, very good. I like this. Mm -hmm. This is smoky. super, super upfront smoky. Yep. No burn whatsoever. Nope, it actually didn't burn down any, at all. And it's just. It gets you in the front like a rye would, but not a not a pepper rye forward, mm -hmm. but like a very very strong. You know it's there forward. Yeah, they're not weeded, but a good so, one. They're not weeded, so I'm sure there is rye in the mash bill, but yeah, it's not overly peppery or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, it's, it's yeah. usually when I think rye, I think very high pepper taste, and this does not have a very high pepper taste. It's very very good. It's very strong right there. This is good, and I would. No, I don't. Man, I really don't want to put ice in this because so I've never like, I've never had the Woodford Double Oak, but how do you compare? The Woodford Double Oak is smokier than this one, okay. and it has a little burn at the beginning, so they and may it closes leave it, off. They may leave it long, a little longer. Right, but or the barrel could be even more burnt than But here's the thing, charred. you're paying you're paying over $50 for yeah. the Woodford. Okay, this one's twenty three ninety nine. This is very good. I would, yeah, mm -hmm. I would buy this. Yeah. I would probably buy this over the Woodford. I do like the Woodford. I don't know, I would say the Woodford's probably a little smokier. So, to me, I like super smoky stuff. But I'll tell you what, though, on some days I come down here, I don't want anything with smoke, and I want it to just be smooth, and I would yeah. go with this, like, all day. This would be a good one to have. It would be a good to have a shelf of both of them next to each other to pick. Do I want yeah. super smoke today, or do I want light smoke today? And that's what it is. It's basically like smoking a full mm -hmm. thing cigarette, or a, you know what I'm saying, a light cigarette is what it is. And it, they're both fantastic. You know what so. we, have, we haven't reviewed yet is the Jim Beam Black Label. 
So yeah. that's basically, I think, the same mash and everything as the Jim Beam White, but they leave it in the barrel longer. So the Jim Beam White label, is, it just got the minimum four years. Right. I think that one might be five or six years. Um, did we, we age, just did that video, didn't we? No. I, I, you I didn't have, do Jim Beam? I've tried it. Do Jim I Jim have? Black. No. I don't have a Jim Beam Black. No. But I've tried it before, and this resembles that. But this it may be a little uh, more vis viscous. Like oh, a, little, right. a little thicker, you know what I mean? A little more syrupy right. and a little smokier because of the double barrel. But this is yeah. Good. But so if you tried Jim Beam Black and you liked it, you will for sure like this. This is this is just just a notch above that. And the Jim Beam Black is the same price point as this one. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. So if I was you, I would you know instead of buying the Woodford, I would buy both because you can get this and the Jim Beam Black for this less than you could the Wood one bottle of Woodford. Do sip this. Keep some of it in your mouth, and as you breathe out, it's. A thousand times smokier and better. I don't know what it is. Keep some in your mouth when you swallow it, and breathe out your mouth. <laughs> I dribble a little bit. But I Tell me you don't get that smoke. That's Ooh. what I want. There's certain days I come. I really don't go outside and have cigars too often anymore. Mm -hmm. So I like to taste the smoke in my drink, so I don't have to go out and smoke. It's good. So it's like this fits the bill. If you do that, oh my God! Maybe the ice will heighten the smoke. Yeah. We're putting a piece of ice. Oh in yeah, this. we owe it to I, I we owe it like, to the people, Matt. But I feel like we just want to do one. These glasses yeah, aren't as one. big as those. Let's do so one. We have I'm good. Like a, I think we're gonna change our two ice minimum to a one. I think it depends on what we're drinking. If we're drinking something hot. I'm still gonna want two. Uh, yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah. Like when we get that new Booker's bottle that just yeah. came out, we're gonna probably just. Have this to is have this two. is what uh, 86 proof, so it's only 43 percent. Oh. Well, so a, that one ice cube is strong. Yeah. This might just open this up to the point to where it's. Yep. Or it might even close it down to the point to where there's nothing left. Well, that's the thing. So we did get the smoke. So this might take some of the smoke off and add this, make it sweeter. You know what I mean? It smells a little. It smells a little lighter now. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I want this to be in there too long because I feel like it's going to take away from it. You ready? Oh yeah. I like it on the rocks. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, now I don't even have to breathe out my mouth and have it in my mouth. Yeah. Jim don't have to spit all over the bar for us no, to get that no, taste. This is, this That's is, the taste that I had when you did that. This is an on-the-rocks sipper all day. Wow, this is good. Yeah, buy this bottle. That's a good one. No, wait, it's, it's, new. It's, it's new, so I don't know how long it's going to be around. And especially when people see this video, they're going to run to the store. Because this, this is, is amazing. It is. This is a smoker whiskey right here. So I am a, I'm a Jim Beam fan, as it is. Right. Because I like Knob Creek, you know, I, so if you like put Jack Daniels next to you, like those are probably your two, you know, up there, most popular, most right. widely available, you know, Woodford is up there too, but between Jack and Jim, and this is amazing. This is, this is really good. If I went to the store and I seen this, I would buy this. This would, if you are smoking while you're drinking this, let me just explain to you that if you put a piece of ice in this and you have your cigar with it, it will heighten the taste of your cigar to the point to where you will love it even more. Fantastic. So. Like we tell you in all the videos, if you're drinking while you're watching us, don't drink and drive. Hell no. See? Call somebody. And let us know yep. what you're drinking. Absolutely. Because Jim wants that. And I feel like I want that too. And hopefully it's smoky because that's what well, I feel like I'm I want I'm a sucker today. for good deals. So right. I went to the store and like I said, I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm like, hey, do I buy the Woodford or do I grab this? Actually, I grab this and then uh, that uh, honey wild turkey. That so that video will be coming soon as well. That was good. Hell yeah, I didn't these, put that one the out yet. These two bottles are the same price as the one Woodford. So I'm a sucker for a good deal. That's true. You might as well buy this and that Honey Sting, was it? Yeah. Honey Sting. Or the black. Oh my god, that was good. Or this and the Jim Beam black so you could have the two. Yeah, then you yeah. can see which one's better. And then let us know which one you like is better. Mm -hmm. That'd be super cool. But make sure you go on Instagram, Facebook, on YouTube here. Hit that like button. That'd be super cool. All the socials. And yeah, share it to your friends. Tell them to watch us. Throw our name out there. We'll get some business cards. We'll throw them at the camera at some point. It'll yeah. look super cool. At the bar too. <laughs> yes. See somebody at the bar sipping some whiskey neat. Like, hey, these guys. Definitely. Yeah. Throw yeah, my, our name on there. My wife does that. Somebody asked me the other day how I like the bullet old fashioned pre mixed. Hell yeah. And I was like, hey, you know what? I was like, I'd rather just mix my own old fashioned. Damn right. But you have to try it. Yeah. It's not that expensive. Try it. Get it. The Buffalo Trace one is better than the Bullet one, in my opinion, but, you know, it's because it's smokier. Mm -hmm. that's, cool. that's all it has to be for me. But thank Peace. you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.